G'day team, Pity checking in with another unboxing. Um, this time we've got um, the KZZS10 Pro in ear monitors. Uh, so this is the box you get. Uh, yeah, this one's got the microphone blank. Very good. Okay, picture of it, uh, then some stuff on the back. So there's all your stuff. Very good. Right, let's have a little look at it. So just get the shrink up off, just pass it here. Uh, then we've got the box, it's like in a matte cardboard finish and these, oh, they don't really have a gloss to that picture. Still looks all right. See all the stuff. So then this is a slide box, okay. It's your box. Okay, so then what have we got? It's um, like a plastic cover on it. We got this flap thing. Silicony bag. It's like some ear tips. Headphones. In ear monitors I should say. And then some kind of stamp in there. Very good. It must be like the year or something. Oh yeah. Some kind of card. User info. User info. Yeah, very good. And then something else. Yeah, very good. Oh, that's your warranty. Very good. So you got that. Um, ear tips seem like one of those stretchy bags. There's a couple in there. Righto, so you give you one, two, three. So you get some big ones. Just like that silicony style. Just feels pretty standard in the white, and then you get like these ones here, which are a little bit more um, like bullet tip. Same material. That's the bag they came in. And you have a cable bag. Right, so it's like a cleary kind of cable. It's got a twisty. Keep the cable together. Cable management, very good. And that all unravels. So you can see it's a double strander, three and a half mil, right angle. It's got flexi. It's got your white, painted white on those. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. You can see there's something going on through there too. Oh, that's where the wires connect up to the actual pin. So it's like a, um, it's like a hard rubber. It's kind of got like a little bit of flex to it. That's definitely flexy. And then you can see your twin strand cable. Let me see a twin strand cable. Yeah, one side looks like it's got like a copper weave, whereas the other side looks like it doesn't. Righto, so then you keep going all the way. Then you've got like the 
it that then splits it into the two. So that's fixed. That, no, it might slide, but it need a bit of force on that. I'm not really keen to jam it. Maybe it does. I don't think so though. Um, we keep traveling along the twin. So then you got your microphone bit. Oh, it's got like a button on it. It's clicky. Uh, that must be where the pickup is, maybe. Don't know. Then you come to your two over ear hooks. Then your connection pins. It's a double pinner. Yep, flexy. That's it's got a little bit of flex to it. You can see some gold, like a clamp around it in there in that plastic. And you can see all the welds, the wire there too. That's pretty cool. Okay, so that's your cable. So then let's have a look at the in-in monitors. Shit, these are. So really jammed in there. One, two. Okay, so it comes installed with tips on it. Mm, they feel pretty good quality. They're not super heavy, but they're not light. So you got that fascia plate there with some cutouts in there. It looks pretty cool. Ten hybrid technology. I don't. Oh, it feels kind of plasticky, like it's not cool or anything like that. So I reckon that is definitely like Delrin or some kind of plastic. And you've got those tiny little screws, which are Torx. Right, are they are Torx. Looks like it. they're just tiny as. So you got like this clear in like it's kind of like it's got a bit of a smoke tint to it. You can see all the drivers and guff in there. All that stuff. Connection for your wires. It's got like a screen. And then the gold chimney thing for the ear tip to go on. Can't really see through that screen though, it must be. And you know, that's stop all the ear junk and stuff going in. So yeah, that looked pretty sweet. Um, ear tips, just put it back on. Yeah, so I'm keen to give these guys a go, cheapies. Especially compared to those Kiwi ear Kazenza things that I got, which are just absolute junk. Okay, we're on now. So that's good. So yeah, can't give those a go. I think that'd be pretty sweet. Give me a go with the Hibi. Um, that's which has been bloody ripper. So I can try always um, the Hibi and one of these hiders Dax, which has been pretty cool, pretty small. So yeah, I'm looking forward to giving those a go for sure. Right, so that is your height it is KZ tens, whatever they are. Yeah, that's cool. Righto team, have an awesome day. G'day team, Petty checking in.
with a follow up. So I've just unboxed um, the KZZS10 Pro X and I've given them a spin. These things absolutely rip. Um, let's say playing off the EBE to these. I'm using the USB C dongle DAC. This um, height is which is tiny, it's pretty convenient, it's pretty cool. So that works. Um, these things absolutely rip. Um, they sound very similar to um, my Bluetooth Denim Pearl Pro, so they've got big bass, um, heaps of trebles, real fun sound, like I'm not an audiophile or anything like that. But I guess my journey started with my first in-ear monitors, which were just, I think, the latest hype machine, the Kiwi Kazenza. And for me, these things, Kazenza things, are absolute rubbish. A um, just like super shallowy sound. Sound like something you get like in a free show bag when you go to a car yard or something. They're trying to sell you a car and they give you like a bag of lollies and some shitty headphones. So I'd say these are definitely junk. I guess I've never felt so underwhelmed after watching all the reviews on these. Um, latest hype machine. So I'd say that um, the these um, KZ... ZS10 Pros, whatever they are, they absolutely shit on them. Um, big sound, full sound, deep, deep bass. Yeah, it's probably not as controlled, but if you want something that'll just rumble your head, these will definitely do it. These won't. These will be lucky to wake you up with an alarm clock. So these definitely look premium. They feel real nice, but you just cannot compare the two. Absolutely shit on them. So yeah, I think... The only reason why I'd buy these Kiwi ears Kazenza are because they are wicked cheap, but I wouldn't be buying them for the headphones. They come in super cool box, so you definitely, half your money I reckon spent on this cool packaging to trick people. They go, oh that's nice, and then buy it. But the amount of ear tips that these things comes with is phenomenal. Like, these are very close to um, spin fit ear tips in my opinion. And these things will run you about 20 bucks just for the tips. Whereas these ones, jeez, you get two big ones, two medium ones, two small ones in that style. Same as that, two big ones, two medium ones, two small ones in that style. And then you get two big ones, two medium ones, two small ones in that clear style. So the price you pay for these junk headphones is almost worth it just for the ear tips. I reckon that's that's pretty good. But um, the these ones, the... Um, uh, ZS10 Pro, they only come with some other ones, same colour, same style, in large. They come pre-installed with the medium, um, and then you get the small. So this one here, you only get another two pairs of ear tips. There's a mineral the junk. Um, yeah, but definitely you've paid for the headphones, not for the box and the ear tips. So, yeah, there's these ones here. KZ's Pro X, you get medium installed, you get a large set and a small set. So you definitely have paid, you know, for cheapy headphones, but you've got all your money in the headphone, not in the box. And bloody amazing ear tips. So uh, if I were to recommend, I'd say the choice is just clear. These, these just rock for the cheap ass price, whatever they are. I'm very impressed. Especially compared to that time, Kiwi is junk, so I rate it. And then if you got a Hibi, they definitely sound pretty cool. So yeah, the choice is clear, team. That's got an easy vote for me. I'm not an audiophile or anything like that. Like, yeah, I know they're probably, these are a truer sound or some junks, but um, yeah, for me, that's a really easy choice. So you get the KZs. Pro X all day. Righto team, I hope you have an awesome day.